All right, we're just going to go through here real quick and show you collecting some mosquito larvae to feed to some of the fish in, inside. This is just a five gallon bucket that I've had sitting out. It's actually collects rainwater that I, that I uh, water my chickens with and the mosquitoes have been laying eggs in it. This is obviously a little too dirty to water the chickens with. I've been using other stuff, but it has been sitting here for a week or two. And I just scoot around in here and catch a bunch of larvae as I go. But I was seeing them before. They were wiggling around in here. I don't know if I got any on that round. I'm gonna go down to the bottom and see. Be a bunch of stuff in that shot. But I'll get them dunked into a mason jar here and see if we can see them. Okay, I have just a couple, I took a couple scoops out of that bucket. You can see some of the wiggles, the mosquito larva wiggling around in there. And I will go ahead and clean this up a little bit. And then we'll shoot the fish eating it for the first time this year. So I don't know if they'll chase right after it or not, but we're going to find out. Okay, so we have a pretty good scoop. Of these guys brought in the mosquito larva, larva from outside and all the debris you have to sort out. There's easier ways to do that, I'm sure, but I just pick through it. And I'm going to scoop them down in here and let them go. In here we have an angelfish that we just put in here a little while ago. And all the little neons and some rasporas. And we'll see. See if they like them. I hope they do because I don't want these hatching in the house. I didn't see very many of them. They've, there's a few stuck to the surface up there. This is the first time I've ever put them in this tank, so I'm not sure these fish know what to do with them. They're scooting around eating all the little things. There, one went up and got one, I think. They know I fed them something. See if I can touch them and get them to fall down. Where they go right up to the top, they don't like this. Interesting. Angelfish is looking the wrong way, doesn't see them. It was very anticlimactic. <laughs> I think they got some of them that I couldn't quite see what they were doing. I'm going to sit back here a little bit to see if I'm scaring them. We've got the angel fish all spooked. There, one of the neons got one. The black neon just ate one. They definitely know something's going on. They're kind of frenzied. They must have whacked a few of them, be, a bunch of them, before I really got the camera down and looked. Because I only see a few of them in there. That one up front is moving around a little bit. Looks like they went up and got another one. That one's scooting around back there. So I should should have done this a few times before I ever shot a video, but I wanted to show you the first time. Once you get them trained to eat this sort of stuff, they would go crazy for it. There, there they got it. Ooh, they attack it when they figure it out. 
Here's one that Neon's eating one right there. I don't know if you saw it spit it out of its mouth. There's only one left up there. He's in the back now, way back there. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> By the time I look back at the screen, something shot up there and got it. So they figured it out in a hurry. I'm gonna throw some more in here in a little bit and maybe I'll film those too. But that's an easy way, guys. Just a bucket of water sitting outside in the spring. Once it warms up, it's been hitting 80s and stuff. Let a little debris fall in it. Um, you get all kinds of mosquito larvae and stuff in there. It's, it's free food for your fish. Even the little neons are eating it. So I expected the, the angelfish to go crazy for it, but she didn't. The angel or the, the neons are the ones scooting around eating it. So I'll throw a few more scoops in there and see what happens. Have a great day, guys.